Welcome to our adventure here with Hitman. Today is the final episode. Yes, we have come to the end. I'm actually quite sad. I've enjoyed being the Hitman, doing all these complicated and challenging missions that are still fun nonetheless. It really makes me use my brain. And so let's see what this final mission has for us. I could only wonder if it's gonna be super complicated. But I do know in the end, we are going to find out something very important. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Good morning, 47. Good morning. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Ooh. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Sodas, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate <laughs> shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed wow. to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. It won't. Sodas must pay for his treachery, and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. And that line will be drawn. I promise you, ma'am. I won't let you down. It's come to this. That is a butthole move, though. I don't appreciate people who just go around taking what's not theirs, such as organs. I understand if you want to donate it, but pal, look at you. How dare you? I think your time has come. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law, if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry, look, just look at us. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Reaper. Hello. What? As part of the service here oh. at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. Oh, that's weird. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. All right. Um, is your name Gamma? I'm not quite sure. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Let me just open the door. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful lanterns. Probably a little bit chilly, I'm not gonna lie. It's lovely. If you guys weren't doing terrible things here, it would be absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit weird though, we can look into the other room. Well, I quite love it here, it's very beautiful. But I must complete my mission. Ooh. Alright, well it's not really actual TV, so I'll go on my way. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Not my own room, please. <gasps> yes, I like the scissors. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, look at the mess I'm making. What a cute little ducky! Oh, it's a party with the toilet! Woo! <laughs> oh, this is the weirdest thing ever. 
I'll be on my way. Oh, good evening to you. Thank you. You you don't have to. You're very, very lovely. Are they forcing you to be like that? I promise you, you don't have to. <gasps> I have to go outside, but man, I have to change outfits. All right, so I'm gonna check out the entire place. We'll see what we find here. Excuse me. This is a quiet place here. Peace and quiet. Would you shut up? I like your hat, pal. Told you never to call the office. You oh. Call me there. Uh uh. All right, all right, all right. Look, I can hear you're upset. Listen, I'll have Teresa wire you a few thousand dollars to your account. You run out and buy something pretty, and we'll drink some champagne and talk about this when I get. Are you cheating on your wife, pal? I think I might just take you down. Is this the toilet? Oh, hello. Um, I need a different outfit. That works for me. I have intel about that bandage patient. Uh huh. They're still not ready. Well, this is quite fascinating. I like it. The bandaged patient is Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. According to my intel, he has undergone full facial reconstruction and is scheduled for bandage removal today. And get this, he's going for the full Helmut Kruger look. Cheekbones All want right. to be liberated. I'll be honest. Released onto the world. Oh, not if they're not naturally, dude. Do you see mine? Look at my cheekbones. Natural. Natural. Yeah, you get out of here. Hel Sorry. Wait, there should be room You're for all here, me. man. Hey, bad form, dude. You stole my idea. What? Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find someone else to emulate. How about, uh, I don't know, Jordan Cross. He's hot, right? Oh, wow, this is super embarrassing. You're trying to look like me, huh? Uh, at least we don't attend the same social circles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shut up, we don't, right? I've, I've got connections. I can make you disappear for good. Because you want to look like me, pal? Hey, you need to get out of here. What the? Oh, oh, there's a lot of blood. Oh. <gasps> ah! That's a dead body. All right, you always want to make sure there's nobody in the toilet. Mr. Jason Portman. Uh-huh, that's me. Please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. On my way. A doctor will escort that you to That is Yuki Yamazaki. I'm coming for you next. To the Yakuza the and current operative for Providence. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Follow me to the consultation. <laughs> room, please. You must be eager to see the new you. Oh, I am. You have no idea. Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No need to bother him with unnecessary you, security measures. Must be good to get out a little, stretch those legs. I do love the options available here at Gamma, but I imagine it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. As you say, Doctor. I like how there's always somebody that we can Your disguise ourselves as. Mr. Portman. Gamma is such an incredible place. The medical facilities are beyond anything I've ever seen in the world. Well, with the exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're saying, Doctor, but sure. Sup? What's up, man? We've got a new yoga instructor here. JB. Oh. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it for you, you should really go see him. Very well. <laughs> Say what? Pardon you. What? <laughs> so, facial surgery? <laughs> Tends to heal pretty quickly. But I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry, though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages Joy, off in sir. no time at all. Is this the gym? 
Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. How are you Smart too? way to get inside, 47. Well done. Mr. Portman, thank you for waiting. If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. Everybody can see if I take you down, right? All right. So, let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. I'll be still as I remove the bandages. Oh. Oh my. It's 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 astonishing. Not only are you the spitting image of Helmut Kruger, the, the swelling has completely subsided and <laughs> not a trace of bruising. If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say You'd never undergone surgery. It's it's perfect. It's amazing, right? Simply perfect. It's, I'm, I'm sorry. This is uh, <laughs> this is very emotional for me. I wonder if I can take the doctor down. Would that be a bad idea? And you go. I'm not gonna kill you, doctor. All right. All right. I'm just gonna get the scissors. We don't have poison. Anything I can grab here. Anything at all. Very well. Um. Well. <laughs> there are certain people that can recognize me right away. Obviously. <laughs> Bathing suit. We're cool. Who are you? What? This guy. Uh, I mean, what's his problem? You know him? There he is. That is Eric Soders, former training director at the ICA. Shoot. Morning. Operations procedure overwritten. Morning. What, what happened? No vital signs detected. Commencing resuscitation procedure. <laughs> Resetting <laughs> operations procedure. Warning. Operations procedure over the procedure. Charging defibrillator. Ready. Three. Oh two. no! Curator's research aid, right? Let me guess. You want to know about the medical trial? Oh, so it is true. The, the guy's had a mood-altering neurochip implanted in his brain. So, so how does it work? Uh, does it work? Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait for my research paper. I'm following the trial closely, and with a little luck, he'll be the basis for my doctorate. All I can say is that I've got a very interesting bit of insight into his mental state. Fine. Fine, I'll just... Dr. Katashi Ito, also known as the curator, is participating in some sort of medical trial. Interesting. The curator oversees the hospital's organ storage facility and surely has access to Soda's donor heart. I suggest you locate the research assistance report, 47, and find out what this neural implant is for. Could prove useful. That... All right, give me your outfit. Now, where can I put you guys? Sorry about that. Command, watch your six. Uh oh, got a casualty. Where did this guy even come from?
Alright, here we go. It's me. Hey. I do still wish we'd be able to put it into someone well younger, frankly. I see I told you left in the old man, after all. Well, that's for another time. We'll talk again. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, my. Space. <laughs> oh, the shapes. It's beautiful. Exactly as it needs to be. Oh, a place for everything and everything in its proper place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, why haven't I known this before? I need to share this with my babies. I need some time alone. Come back later. Bringing joy to the world now, 47. Well, let's see where this takes him, shall we? Uh-oh. You guys didn't see anything. That is the right-sided donor heart destined for sodas. This is what he sold out the ICA for. Oh. Oh no. Here it comes. The old poisonous cloud bank rolling in. Oh, how, how did I imagine I could escape? Oh, this is who I am. Always will be. Hello, little heart. <laughs> Elegant solution, what you say? The soda's on the operating. Get me out of here! And no hope of getting a second right-sided heart in time. Woo! You have effectively killed him without laying Woo! a hand on him. This should be a clear message to anyone considering following oh, I'm his sorry. footsteps. Oh, that was perfect. There has to be an exit, here, right? Hello. How can I get out of here? Oh. What if? Okay. I don't know if I should stay in the doctor suit or not. I guess only the doctors would recognize me, but if I'm not in there, I'll be fine. Well, this is lovely. What is that dude doing? <laughs> <sighs> I just needed to come and uh, relax a little bit. This is stressful. A couple of months. Yeah, it's a good situation. Miss Yamazaki is very smart, very capable, tough as nails too. You should see her in the court. She seems a bit, I don't know, untimely. Like she's not comfortable in her own skin? Yeah, you saw how she dropped her fags off the lift crossing the gorge. It's just nicotine cravings. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was me five years ago. Glad I got that monkey off my back. Hey, we should get her a pack. Make a good impression. In a place like this, good luck. Uh, yeah. Yuki Yamazaki dropped her cigarettes off the lift when arriving at the hospital. According to her bodyguards, this has put her on edge. Maybe you can help quench those cravings, 47. Cigarettes are contraband at Gamma, but surely not everyone follows the rules. Let's see what we can do. Oh, what are you doing here, doctor? You can recognize me? Oh, gosh. Oh, I thought that was her. Oh. All right. Is anybody here? This is a mess. All right, where's the cigarettes? Here they are. Man, this, this is a messy room. Jeez. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here, but here I go. <laughs> Pardon me. Just doing doctor duties. Take care, doctor. Hey, doc, sorry. This area is restricted at the moment. Oh, sorry. 
How am I supposed to get in there? Oh my god, it's the model! I don't know how in the world I'm gonna get in there. <gasps> Takes the stress right out of me. That's so pretty. Any like that? That's a little harsh, isn't it? A total ban? I don't know. A patient did die. Famous one at that. Still, it's not the chef's fault. What was a kitchen apprentice thinking cutting out a fugu fish by himself unsupervised? I mean, it takes years of practice. Didn't the kid realize how poisonous those things are? Uh, he's a kid. I probably wanted to show off, I don't know. But anyway, the hospital administration probably thought it would be better to just ban serving fugu altogether. Poor chef. That was his best party trick. Now what do we do with the last fugu? Uh, throw it out, I guess. <laughs> it's a damn shame, too. The chef had to refuse serving Yuki Yamazaki his signature dish. I mean, despite uh, her constant requests. She asked about it just an hour ago. It's really too bad. Well, it's not- Gama has banned the serving of fugu, following an incident where a guest was poisoned by a poorly carved piece of the poisonous fish. It appears, however, that Yuki Yamazaki is trying to sway the chef to slice up his final specimen and serve it to her. Who are we to deny her such pleasure, 47? Yeah, who are we? Nobody, I say. Nobody saw a single thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I just wanted to knock you out, but I... I had to use something, you know. Alright, let's locate the fishy here. Somebody really should clean that up. They can just slip, you know. Alright, fishy. Oh, there you are. Yep. Smell something fishy. How is no one gonna see me? All right. All right, forty-seven. Let's make sure this is her last. <laughs> you go, forty-seven. Woo! Um, excuse me. Could I? Excuse me. Delicate sushi can be savored right here. I just prepared a fresh batch. Mm-hmm. Yummy. I knew you would come around eventually. Good for you. I hope you like it. My colleague is a straight arrow. Me, I say it's good to live dangerously. You took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. mm, hey, food looks yes. great. Mm, yeah, really happy exactly with the work. exactly right. Thanks. Smooth. Goodbye. Uh oh. Oh! Let's find our Let's exit. Both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. <laughs> we did it! All right, we're gonna leave in style. Called in on extra duty, huh? Yeah, Miss Yamazaki apparently. Woo! This chap is out of here. <laughs> and we get fireworks. That's awesome. Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. 
There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Better get out of my face. Partners, then. Punk. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... We are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This, <laughs> this is maintenance. What's on there? Let us see. <gasps> oh. Oh no, is she gonna betray us? Isn't she the one that hired us? Oh my gosh. <gasps> ah! So you really can't trust anyone then? Wow. It really just ended like that. All right, friends. Well, I guess that was the ending of this adventure with Hitman. The story continues in Hitman 2, which we will be going on that adventure very, very soon. Mainly because I need to see what happens. <laughs> Are we going to get betrayed? It's starting to smell like it, you know? But Agent 47 is not dumb. Mm -mm. If anything, I'd say everybody has to watch out. Like I said before, I really enjoyed the challenge. I think one of the things that I really liked that I honestly didn't notice till after a couple missions was the fact that we were not by ourselves, right? Somehow, Miss Burnwood was always there watching us. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know, we had a little camera on us or something, but she was always there and it was great. We got some feedback, encouragement. I liked it. And I'm really curious if the next game is just like this. I mean, it wouldn't be Hitman without missions, right? Assassinations? Yes, please. All right, friends. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did. I guess we can take off our suit and our tie and take a pause at being a hitman. And we'll continue this series in the next one. So I'll see you friends very, very soon.